Hi guys, are you ready to learn what on earth the tab to transients function is and how to use it? In our last video, we talked about how we can use the tab keys to navigate around, highlight, and work with things in our Pro Tools sessions. I'll put a card or something up here somewhere and a link in the description below so you can check out that video if you haven't already. Today, we'll continue along this topic and talk about the tab to transients function in Pro Tools. So there's normal tab and then there's also a function in Pro Tools called tab to transients. It's a mode that you either have active or inactive while editing. To enable tab to transients, you can just press this button. It has a little tab looking icon next to a little waveform looking icon. And once it's lit up blue, your tab to transients function is active. With this enabled, the tab shortcuts work slightly differently. So to understand how tab to transients works exactly, we have to first understand what transients are. So what are transients? Well, the transients in your audio are essentially the peaks in your audio. They're usually the burst of high amplitude waveforms that you'll see at the beginning of a sound or a note. The tab to transients function is therefore super useful if you're trying to figure out a precise starting point for a sound or a note. So to use tab to transients, just click on the tab to transients toggle button that I just showed you in your edit window toolbar to make sure it's blue and the tab to transients function is now active. Once you're in tab to transients mode, you can just press the tab key and your cursor will jump to the nearest transient to the right of the cursor's current location. And that's the nearest transient, not just the nearest breakpoint or clip boundary. Otherwise, the tab key in this mode works a lot like the normal tab functions, except it will move to the nearest transient instead of the nearest clip boundary. Just like with normal tab mode, if you want the cursor to travel backwards to the nearest transient, simply hold the option key on a Mac or control on a Windows computer and then press the tab key. It's also good to know that Pro Tools has a threshold value that it uses to determine what qualifies as a transient. As the user, you cannot adjust that value, so you have to accept and deal with whatever Pro Tools deems to be a transient. Just like the normal tab key function, you can make selections using these keyboard shortcuts. With tab to transients, it's easy to make a selection from one point to the start or end of a noise or sound. So to do that, simply place your cursor in the desired location on your session, then hold shift and press tab to highlight from that location to the nearest transient to the right. Or you can drop your edit cursor in the desired location and then hold option and shift or control and shift if you're on Windows and then press tab. This will highlight from your cursor's current location to the nearest transient to its left. So that's tab to transients. You can return to regular tab functions by clicking the tab to transients button again to change it from its highlighted blue color and return it to its normal inactive gray color. Or you can toggle tab to transients on and off by holding command and option and pressing tab if you're on a Mac or holding control alt and pressing tab if you're on Windows. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you guys liked this video and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. For today's question, I wanna know what functions do you use most often in Pro Tools and why? Please leave your answers in the comments below. Also, I kind of soft launched a Patreon over the past few weeks, so if you feel so inclined, the link is in the description and I would love for you guys to check that out. Also, if you like this video, please hit the little like button, share the video, or subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming out with new videos every other Wednesday and thanks for watching. Okay.